I'm Kiki. And I'm Keisha. And, and we, we are, are Super Mom DIY. DIY. All right, so what you'll need for this project is an old lampshade that you get maybe from a thrift store or Goodwill. Don't spend much money for it. You'll also need a sweater. Um, again, you can get it from a Goodwill thrift store, something really cheap, but that you like the design of. Um, and additionally, you'll need a hot glue gun, of course, with the glue sticks and a couple of clamps. All right, so I chose a sweater that had buttons, and I knew I was going to have to stretch it over the sweater. So what I did was I used hem tape and put it in between the buttons so that it wouldn't come open at that part of the sweater. Next, I'm going to iron the hem tape from both sides of the sweater. So now you're going to place the sweater onto your lampshade um, and get it placed just the way that you're going to want it. Now, my focus was really on the embroidery in the front as well as the button, so I wanted to make sure that that part was flat first before I start manipulating the rest of my fabric. Um, now I'm going to go get my scissors so I can cut off the sleeves, but don't cut too much extra material up front before you know, you know how much slack you're going to need um, in order to get everything to lay down flat. So once I get that, I'm going to start tucking it in, and then I'm going to start making pleats. I think the pleats will not only take up some of the extra bulk that I have, but also make a cute design at the top of my lampshade. In order to hold my pleats, um, I'm going to be using these clips um, so that I can hold them in place for when I'm ready for the next phase, which is using my hot glue gun. So next, I'm using my small hot glue gun, or my mini one. Of course, you'll need your hot glue sticks, but be careful not to burn yourself. And now you see your finished project. This is going to be for my daughter's room. She has a lot of flowers and butterflies. You see how the pleats came out. And I added a little embellishment on the button by hot gluing some big rhinestones. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching.